I think this is where we're supposed to go. Yeah, to these boats. Yeah, head down to that boat down there. And then we can interact with it and it takes us across or whatever. see what you could get from those boat. It's the same shit we always get. <laughs> uh, once you board, you'll head to the other side of the lake. Do you want to continue? Yeah? Yep. Because we'll come back, right? A vessel I think so. on the lake's murky waters. Sail into the darkness. I'm pretty sure that's what we're supposed to do. I mean, yeah, we have two quests that go over here. The, again, the guy and then the girl's kin. Yeah. Good thing I know how to drive it. To wear our boat. Hell yeah, dude. Because I don't. Uh oh. Oh? <laughs> Push the trigger in the water. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty fucking good. <gasps> What'd you roll? Or what one did you click on? Push him in the water. I'm doing it. Alright. That'd be great. Yep, we're good. What are you doing with his bow? Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's so fucking funny, bro. Oh, this is a cool fight. Yeah. I didn't want to do the intimidation because I feel like he was going to, like, let us pass or some shit. So I was like, I just fucking start the fight, bro. Uh, can we jump across that? Yeah. I know, I'm about to. Really? Nice, great. Jesus. Okay, half my fucking health. Wait, did you push him in the water? Is he not even on the boat right now? Correct. Is he about to drown? Yeah, probably why. I was just kidding. I'm just curious. <laughs> yeah. I fragged that fucker. They're evil, bro. Man, uh. How do I use. Here we go. 
And then that's probably it. Yeah, okay. What a what a turn. Oh my god, he chunked you. Wow, he saved that. Huh? Apple charm. Oh, did you get like some fucking tadpole charm? Like, oh, yeah. Fucking rot shit? Yeah. Oh my god. I gotta check out this brain. See what kind of freaky shit you're doing. We just shoved my guy in the water. <laughs> okay. Uh, what? What? The fuck just happened? Okay. Well, uh, we'll have to long rest to get him back. Asterion's gone out of the game, bro. That's it. Wow. What a way to go, huh? <laughs> it's just fucking wow. <laughs> No, I have advantage, man. 78% game. Oh, he tried pushing me off the boat. Hell, where's the Jesus game? targeted over there really wow that's pretty lame Oh shit, I created soul sword points. Fuck. Uh oh.
Damn. We have to long rest to get your guy, huh? Yeah. Alright. Oh, he jumped to you. Nice. Oh, well, so nice and He can't attack the Oh, Lord. invisible. It's kind of fitting that he, um, a vampire dies in the, in the river, you know what I mean? <laughs> when you really think about it. He's probably so mad. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, God damn it. Uh, I don't know where the invisible guy is at the moment. He's gotta pop out somewhere, right? I have a scroll of sea invisibility. Is it worth to do it on this one guy? It's gotta only last like a turn, right? Uh. Uh. Invisibility ends early if the invisible entity attacks, casts a spell, takes an action, or takes damage. I mean, he's the only one left. Yeah, he's gotta he attack. Yeah. yeah. Um. fuck just happened? That dude came out of nowhere. What did he do? He like threw a bomb down, I think. I don't really know. Okay. Up for hell. Can you just do that shit over and over again, or what? I think if I don't succeed, which I haven't. <laughs> oh, I see. I just got up. I don't get any turn actions. Let a rip, King. There's right. a rudder thing I can interact with. That'll probably end the thing, but let's loot real fast. Yeah. Keep going. Uh, nobody came on this side, so it's all on that side. Oh, Asteria is right there. We can res him right there. Uh, let me come over. Okay. That 
Okay. I think we're all looted it up. Yeah, we may not need to take a long rest anymore. We probably just take a short at this point. Since he's alive and I'll have to go back and res him and spend him gold. I, s I started busting out my Oh, spell then slots we're absolutely good. Yeah, no. But yeah. <laughs> if we don't need. I was just saying, if we don't need to. Uh, you want me to click this? I think so, yeah. Okay, here we go. The craft is ready to sail. Uh, continue your journey across the lake, return to the cave shore. Uh, continue your journey across the lake. Look at that. Your Christmas colored up, bro. Not bad. Green and red? No. Ooh. Epic jump, dude. <laughs> Sorry, I, when you said you a Christmas, I was fixing my mic. Yeah, I need to change my guy. I'm a true soul. Uh, I'm here to see the sergeant. I have the boots. It's true, you do, actually. You feel the slightest of stirrings in your head. The Dwegar is not infected, yet your minds resonate. Oh, I'll be. You're one of them cults freaks. Felt the tingle. In that case, let's talk business. Your twat's old friend near caused a rockfall. Tracked tighter than a hornet's arse. Couple of known slaves stuck with him, too. Little bastards. You absolute shaggers owe us a crap load of coin. You want through? Make a donation. Ha! Yeah, I'm not. Fuck, fuck off. Oh, yeah, that one. Deep nose, mostly. Easy to feed. Fat thumbs for digging. That's a problem for you. Yeah. Three. Does These that... all seem like weird way to say this, but I think this is the one. I, I think that's the one that says we don't like slaves, like, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You work through it, shark. No pay up. Don't go all day. I think that. Would... Uh, I'll take your head before you take my gold. What? Even when we try. <laughs> we try to fight it. It's like, oh, chill, chill. <laughs> I gotta change my headset battery. Like what? Oh fuck! I wanted to fight them. Oh, okay, I'm back. Shit, so, uh, almost a hand drop map depicts the northern grotto and bordering the Ebon Lake and attacker one of the drunkening shroom senses and split crank or chuck people in two. What are you doing? Reading this note. Oh, okay. Wow, that's got to be the forge, or maybe uh, not. It looks, it looks like something. Underdark Grim Forge, right? Abandoned refuge. Uh, is that where you're at? Yeah, like if you look on the map, it says it up here, where I am. Oh yeah. 
says Grim Forge, baby. Uh, we're taking a long rest now, aren't we? Yeah, maybe we should real fast. Yeah. Wait, where'd you go? Just in this little thing over here. Like straight ahead. Oh, gotcha. Yes. I got turned around. I think I'm gonna long rest us and I'm gonna take the thing outside real fast. Yeah, sounds good. I go talk to some peeps. Oh! A faint voice uh -oh. echoes oh. in your mind. A stereo wants to talk to you. And that's it. All right. All right, we're back. Come to near the poison spread. Near's voice fades, but your head still tingles with his anger and fear. Okay. Looking at something. The only benefit to a mirror when you have my condition, it doesn't quite make up for the lack of a reflection in my day. Premium looking glass. Petty vanity. Of course I must. I've never even seen this face. Not since it grew fangs and my eyes turned red. I... I don't know. I can't remember. My face is just some dark shape in my past. Another thing I've lost. Okay, sure. got shit to talk about. Cool. Moving ahead. I just asked him what he was. Uh, I talked with Ash, uh, Astarin. He was looking into a mirror, and then we got into talk about a vanity thing. That was about it. Uh, Nothing even remotely special. doing over there? Or is that oh, Athena playing? Yeah. Oh, gotcha. It's all good. Open up.
Okay. Then really nothing else to do. I'm not seeing anything anyways, so... Yeah, I don't have anything it doesn't look like. Do I got a shitty magic item I can give to Gale? He's looking... Uh, tough over there. Uh, I don't have any on me. Oh, yeah, you got a couple. I think. I can give him the ever seeing eye. Nasty way to go. That is most gratifying to hear. May I? I want to see how he eats it. Thank you. He just like absorbs it. He does that. Take your shirt off. I want to see what's <laughs> underneath there because I saw the tattoo light up. Good gods. It hardly has any effect. Oh, Mr. Have mercy on us all. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. Um. Uh, okay. I might just be about to remedy that. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. Yeah, me too. One might call a wizard prodigy. <laughs> and from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The Lady of Mysteries. The Goddess Mistra. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time, she became my muse. And later, even my lover. Oh, shit. What? That was his lover. Wow. You gotta go with the first one. His character is really cool. I like him. Yeah. He's, yeah, he seems really cool. How powerful a wizard we mortals can become. We never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I <laughs> stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. Yeah, I want to hear it. Yeah, go for it. Very well. Here it goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower, a flying tower, to be precise. A flying tower. His history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. Oh. He almost managed, but not quite. His entire empire, Netherrealm, came crashing down around him. That was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. Fractured, shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms. Until the day, the mystery returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all her scattered shards. Or so I thought. Until of my studies, I learned of a book, a netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? 
<laughs> you rolled out flowers. I think one, right? The answer was to try. The outcome was to fail. Sir, this D of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next, here. Does so everybody just have a replaced heart? <laughs> yeah. The vampires don't got one. She's got an infernal got engine, and a then he's. Worm and a replaced heart. As you realize Gale is letting you in into the dark, you see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bowed and suddenly opened. Inside, there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pulses. <laughs> its teeth, its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry? I don't actually understand what just happened right there. He is like, I think. This netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it may be fine. Hmm. Never to fully destabilize. I think he basically has like she a is monster inside of him that is like direly hungry for the like magic or the weave. And hey. like so he sucks like the energy or the magic out of like items to like sort of like appease it or like keep it at bay. But like it, the the items are starting to have less and less effect, so like if he doesn't find a way to like appease it, it's gonna like consume him or come out? I don't know. And you will die. I will erupt. Oh, hey, yeah, I'll erupt. The exact <laughs> magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Nether East magic, I'd say even a fragment as small. I think he's basically like a little magic black hole. Level a city the size of water. And he'll, he's a walking bomb. That's so cool. I don't know what I'm role playing my next DD character. <laughs> I'm a magic black hole. I'm gonna go around absorbing fucking magical items, bro, until one day I'm just like, you know what? Fuck this game. Blow yeah. up my whole my whole party. Self destruct button. Then again, we might not. All of this, it must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. No, I like you. I want to hear the rest of your story. That is a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. You truly are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. I thank you all. I understand if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. I stand at a precipice, but if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. Now, even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Let us venture forth. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right, Bedtime. Chill. Chill, 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 bro.